It is that time of year again. Things are growing cold and the leaves are falling. It is too cold to turn on the AC, but not cold enough to admit that we need the heat on in the house. Turning on the heat feels like an admission that winter is indeed coming, and it's time to settle into the mundane and often fearful bleakness of winter. Making that mindset shift comes with a lot of reluctance. I live in the prairies of Canada where the seasons are extreme. The summers are nice and hot, but they are short. And the winters are cold, very cold, and very long. When that first truly warm day of spring arrives, there is this very tangible shift in energy with everyone that you come in contact with. There is this lightness and a hope and a spring, no pun intended, in everybody's step. Even the most stodgy, curmudgeon type of people are smiling and generally being nice to each other. It's this fantastic social phenomenon, which is one of my favorite to observe. The other side of that coin is that the opposite starts to happen in fall. And this year, after last winter, would not go away. <laughs> and we saw the snow falling well into the month of May. It is really hard to come to terms with the weather turning so quickly this fall. Now I am a fall person. I love a good sweater moment and a cozy vibe. I love sitting by the fire and drinking hot drinks and sitting under blankets to watch TV all cozy. But this year I'm having a harder time looking forward to another winter after feeling like the previous winter's mark has not yet faded. warm weeks to fully feel like I had a summer, but it doesn't look like that's gonna happen. So it's time to accept that the days are getting shorter, that I'm gonna start waking up in darkness and eating supper in darkness, and that the kids will go to school when it's still dark and come home as the sun starts to set. to not allow that darkness to overtake my existence during the winter months, yet it's inevitable to some extent, and being okay with that helps a little bit. <laughs> to remind myself that I have so much to look forward to in winter. I know, can you believe I said that? It's true. <laughs> there are things to look forward to in winter. So many exciting projects are coming up this winter that I'm very excited about and cannot wait to share with you all. I also love the fact that getting together with people in winter is actually really special. In summer, because it's such a short season where I live, the weeknights and weekends of summer fill up fast and seeing other people and going to events almost becomes too much for an introvert like me. But in winter, when others start to slow down and the events are not as frequent, going to them and spending time with others can be cherished again. It can become a slow activity. 
And I love that winter provides more opportunities to sit down and to chat and to connect again on a more personal level rather than rushing around from one activity to another with little chance for connection. My passion of painting, which you all know because that's what this channel is all about, is a solitary activity. And without the feelings of summer is so short, we have to spend every waking moment outside. It is nice to slow down and not feel the pressure of fleeting time just for a little while. In honor of all the feels of the season slipping back into winter, I decided to make the most of it. We are going to get cozy, set up a still life that helped me come back to terms with the fact that we are now here looking winter in the face again. what it'll bring or how the weather will once again impact every aspect of my life, but choosing to see the aspects that I enjoy. The aspects that hold really beautiful moments in my mind. The part of winter that makes us all slow down and just catch our breath even just a little. Winter provides a space for reflection and moments of connection that we all so desperately need. So today I'm choosing to my focus my energy on these things. Take care, friends. Have a good one.